Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example, again, we'll grab a box, but instead of putting keys in the box, we'll put bills in the box. We have some $1 bills, some $5 bills, and some $10 bills. Five of the $1 bills, three of the $5 bills, and two of the $10 bills. They're all placed in a box, so we have a total of 10 bills in there, and we're going to pick a bill at random. Now, what would be the expected value that we pull out of the box. And it turns out the expected value will not be a 1, a 5, or a 10. It'll be some probability calculation averaged out over the number of bills and depending upon how many of each that we have. But to figure that out, we could also run a Monte Carlo simulation. So first, we look at all the outcomes. We can pull a 1, a 5, and a $10 bill. The probability for each 5 tenths, 3 tenths, and 2 tenths, and then we come up with a random number generator. And let's say we have numbers from, uh, from, zero to, uh, from 1 to 0, and since there's a 50% chance that we'll get a $1 bill, we'll assign 5 of the numbers to equate to a $1 bill, 3 of the numbers to equate to a $5 bill, and 2 of the numbers to equate to a $10 bill. So that will simulate grabbing a bill at random according to the probabilities expected. Then we run the simulation, and we're going to run it 25 times, and then we'll tabulate the results to see what we have. So here's what we ended up getting. So first, it looked like we had a lot of 10s and 5s, way more than we would expect. Then we still had more 10s and 5s than 1s, more than we would expect. But then all of a sudden, the tide somewhat turned. If we then add up all the, all the bills that were a $1 bill, we ended up with 10 of those, 8 $5 bills, 7 $10 bills, when we add up all the money that we pulled out of 25 tries, we end up pulling out $120. So 40% of the bills we pulled were $1 bills, 32% were $5 bills, and 28% were $10 bills. According to the probability, we pulled less $1 bills, we pulled more $5 bills, and more $10 bills than expected. But again, we only ran the simulation 25 times. If we ran it a thousand times, we'd get a lot closer to that particular probability. So when we sum up all the dollar bills, or all the dollars pulled out of the box, divided by the number of simulations, we had an average of $4.80. So according to 25 runs of the simulation, you'd expect to get $4.80 out of the box by pulling one bill out. But if we then calculate the expected value, it turns out it would only have to be $4. So we were somewhat high, but again, we only ran 25 simulations. If we had run a thousand simulations, I bet we would have gotten a lot closer to that expected value. But again, you can see here, we don't need to run the Monte Carlo simulation because we can easily calculate it using probabilities, but at least it, it shows, it illustrates how a Monte Carlo simulation can be used even for these kind of things. And that is how it's done.